Everyone, first, thanks so much for joining. Um, my name is Brian Windsor. I am a lead advisor with Bogart Wealth. Uh, and today we're having a, a special presentation uh, directly to Lockheed Martin employees uh, to talk about transitioning towards retirement. What are some of the cues and clues and things that we need to prepare ourselves for from a financial perspective so that we get this right the first time? Uh, so today's presentation, we're going to talk a little bit about Bogart Wealth as a firm. If this is your first time hearing about Bogart Wealth, well, welcome. Happy to have you here. Uh, if you know all about, about us or if you are working with us, hopefully this is a refresher to some of the conversations we have had. And if not, then let's talk to our advisor about some of these things that we need to make sure that we're prepped for. Um, so a little bit of backstory about myself. I'm a certified financial planner. Uh, I have about 17 years in the financial services industry. And in my role here at Bogart Wealth, I'm here to help uh, empower our financial uh, clients here financially to make better life decisions. Um, but let's get started uh, for today's presentation. I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, like we said, Bogart Wealth, and then we'll talk about the, uh, the process for, for Lockheed Martin specifically and how we can help, truly. Uh, from a Bogart Wealth perspective, uh, we look at ourselves as educators first and foremost. Um, Bogart Wealth is an independent financial advisory firm located here where I am in McLean, Virginia. Um, as we'll talk about, we do have offices uh, throughout the country as well. Uh, relatively larger size firm, about close to $2.5 billion in assets. Um, over 1,200 households look to us as their primary financial advisors to make informed life decisions. Um, we do have a fiduciary duty, like I mentioned, to act in our best interest of the clients. Um, a lot of times, if, if you, you know, talk to other advisors and they tell you to do X, Y, or Z, um, what's the benefit to them? How does that impact them versus is that really good advice for you? Our firm commitment to you is that we're going to give you the best advice that we think is beneficial for you as, as, the, as the client. Um, we are a comprehensive um, financial planning firm. So we're not just money managers, not just saying that this is how we invest. But as we'll talk about today, we're really going to spend the time to take into consideration how does this full financial planning piece look like? If I decide to retire, who does that impact? Who are those others that, um, that I care about that I need to make sure are being taken care of. How do I think about cash flow? How do I think about taxes? How does this impact my estate? We have you covered. This is what we do day in and day out. Um, and specifically for the Lockheed Martin plan, a lot of experience here. Obviously, if we're in Northern Virginia, we have a lot of clients in the local area. I myself have worked with several throughout just this year alone in the retirement process. Um, so um, a firm here that you know that has had experience and been here before. Um, mentioned that we are located in McLean, but we also have some offices down in Texas. I know a lot of, um, um, we actually may have a few Lockheed Martin participants today in the Texas area. Have no fear, we have some offices down there as well. Um, whether you wanna meet in person, we also do a lot of conferences through, via Zoom, which I'm sure that most of you guys do uh, do today as, as well. Um, the breadth of our advisors, I think, is pretty impressive uh, from a Bogart Wealth perspective. When you look at all of these beautiful people here, um, you notice a lot of a lot of credentials, all right? Um, certified financial planner specifically, um, and I think that uh, tells the tale about us as a firm, where um, we want to focus on having the best people, so that we can provide the best life advice to our to our clients. And, and quite frankly, you know. I don't know everything, right? We're not all experts at every little detail, but when we have a breadth of advisors like this, if I don't know some something specifically, I have a no, I have a trusted contact that might know. Um, so we're not a firm, it's just a one-stop shop person, right? There is a breadth of um, certified financial planners uh, that can help give our give really good ideas to our clients. And it's just not our advisors that lead the charge. Everything that we do at Bogart Wealth, just so you know, is in-house. Uh, when we talk about our compliance team, when we talk about our operations team, our trading team, uh, as well, I'll mention to you just in a few moments, but everything is done in-house. It's not, oh, well, we need to farm this out to XYZ or this, that, and the other. No, everything is done here. What I think is from a collaborative perspective, uh, we can uh, you know, get things done pretty quickly. You can't see it here on the Zoom, but I will tell you out there is our operations team, and they've done an excellent job getting decorated for the holiday season. Um, 
every single year it seems like the firm kind of ups their game a little bit when it comes from holiday uh, holiday decorating. Um, so it's just a, a you know exciting exciting place to work, exciting people here. But we do everything in house, and I think that that's helpful from a client perspective to know. Uh, our clients get to know these uh, other individuals quite well. Um, our, our, our trading team portfolio management located just a floor below me, um, led by Alex Spencer, our chief investment officer, uh, who helps you know navigate, <laughs> quite frankly, today's market scenario, which we're not going to get into today. But you know, as you're looking at your Lockheed Martin and your Empower 401k, you've probably seen a lot of ups and downs uh, over the last several years. Our team doing both the macro and micro research to help determine uh, where's going to be the best place to help manage risk, but also to get effective growth as well. Um, one quick plug for other ways that we're providing quality education out to not just Lockheed Martin participants like yourselves, but also to other workplace plans or, you know, self-employed individuals as well. We have a retirement readiness series that you can find on bogartwealth.com and hear from us, hear from what we believe is, uh, us as educators to provide quality content to help you be more knowledgeable and making good effective life decisions. Whether you're working with us or not, we'd love to have you, we'd love to work with you, but we also think that we can help provide the public a good service by putting a lot of good information here. You know, such things as um, you know, social security planning strategies, estate planning strategies, long-term care planning. You know, in my you know previous uh, previous firm, some, a lot of the things that we didn't get to were saying, oh, you need to talk to somebody else about that. Not here, talk to us. We're going to look at how this impacts all your financial plan, how it impacts those that really that you care and you, you support. So bogarwealth.com, um, you can see a lot of good information there, other videos and quality content. We're putting a new series together for 2024. Very excited about that. So certainly um, stay tuned to that. We're going to get into we're going to get into the Lockheed Martin information here. Um, and I know that that's why a lot of you are here. Before we get into those stages and what we need to be thinking about as, as participants in, in, the, in the Lockheed Martin plan, we want to just take a t- step back and talk about, well, if we're talking about retirement from Lockheed, what are all of the things that we need to think about? It's not just the empire account. It's not just if you had a previous pension. It's not just social. It's how all of that works together. And that's what Bogart Wealth does at, at, at the heart is comprehensive financial planning. We work with our clients on an ongoing basis. Uh, I work with my my existing clients at least four times a year. We have an in-depth appointment. uh, And this is really what we're always focusing in on, what you see on the screen here. Focusing on number one, do we have a plan in place? And do we have a successful plan in place where we know we have enough money to pay the bills? Then how do we go ahead and pay those bills from a cash flow strategy perspective? Okay, how do we think about taxes and taking that into consideration? Well, one of the facets of Bogart Wealth is where our key disciplines are not only financial planning and investment management, but it's tax planning and tax preparation. We can take that into consideration as we're making effective decisions. Right now, end of the year, we are spending a lot of time with our clients talking about certain things like Roth conversions, charitable donations, things that can make an impact to their overall plan. um, And we're doing that at at right now. Uh, But then all of that, you take the financial planning piece into consideration and it's, okay, then how do we execute? on the investment strategy behind this. If I'm taking different sources of money, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes about the Lockheed plan, sources of money, very important to talk about. Um, How do we think about how those sources of money should be managed? Is that the same? Is that different? That's where I think it's important to partner with, you know, a certified financial planner that has detailed financial planning tools, something like Bogart Wealth um, that can help within that. The agenda today, we're going to talk about three key facets of the Lockheed Martin plan. As you can see, it's separation from service, developing the cash flow, and then possibly doing a 401k distribution, if that makes sense to you. So we'll talk about when you actually do separate from service, what does that look like? What's the timeframes we need to be thinking about? Um, How do we then go about developing that cash flow plan, right? You've been savers for a very long period of time, and now you're supposed to flip a switch. How do you think about doing that? How do you partner with someone to make those informed decisions, not only from a growth perspective and tax perspective as well, and also an estate perspective, truly. Um, and then what's, what's the process for 401k distributions? 
NUA analysis. I know that's something that um, you might hear a little bit with the plan. Uh, I'll talk about some, some specifics, specifically about like the processing of it. When you call Empower, what are some of the things that they're gonna ask you to do? Um, just talking about experience of things that I've worked out with a couple of clients. Um, let's, get, let's, get, let's keep going. Okay, so you know, more, more along the lines of those three key facets of you know, retirement per se, right? Number one, it's determining your optimal date of retirement. When do you wanna retire, right? And, and, and do we have the plan in place to have that, that starting? Um, there's a lot, that's a lot thrown at you. Um, uh, whether it's different incentives, promotions, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's always a lot to determine when is that sort of date. Um, we want to make sure you're ready when you're ready. And so working with uh, a, you know, a firm like us uh, ahead of time is going to be just giving you that peace of mind to know that when your time is coming, most of the times, you know, if you have friends or colleagues that are retired, they know that their time is coming. They're just, they're ready to, 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 to just um, maybe do something different, more vocational freedom, or just to have that sort of sunset retirement. Um, and then developing the cash flow, you know, how does Social Security fit into this? How does our pensions, uh, you know, certain things like that. How's my spouse's um, social security pension, you know, and their, their savings plan taken into consideration. And then lastly about the savings plan, and we're going to get into the, 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 the in-depth about NUA a little bit and why, why you might want to consider it from, from a growth and tax and cash flow perspective. All right. So separation from service. You're getting to a point where you're thinking about, do I have enough money to make this happen? And what is the best way about retirement? Uh, going about retirement. I, I tell clients all the time, you get one shot at this. You'd, and a lot of times when you make these decisions, there's no going back, right? So the more educated you are, the more quality planning conversations that you can have with a certified financial planner, I personally believe the better the results can be. So we recommend at minimum 180 days out. So about six months away from being able to retire, that's when you want to sit down with a certified financial planner, lead advisor, Bogar Wealth, like myself, to do a comprehensive financial plan. Now, what that means is, how does everything fit in together? So that's some data conversations, right? So social security information, pension information, your expense information, whether it's just your living expenses, but you know, truly, what is it that you want to do in retirement? Is it grandchildren? Is it is it kids? Is it is it traveling? Is it is it, you know, being a better steward for my community? There's financial implications of all of those discussions. Let's talk about that. Let's run different alternatives to determine the best course of outcome. <laughs> and I've been doing this a long time, and I certainly know that as you say that, hey, this is what I'm going to do in retirement. I mean, I just had a client literally call me ten minutes ago, tell me his son just got engaged. That's changing some things, right? Now, now they're starting to think grandchildren. Um, so that's what's a number one, the really fun part about my job. But nonetheless, how we start planning for retirement, we're going to put our best foot forward, but understand that things are going to change. And that's why we want to be able to evolve with you. That's why even when you become a client with Bogart Wealth, we don't do the planning just one and done. Uh uh, We're going to do this uh, at least once a year, if not multiple times a year, sort of refreshing this to make sure that we have the best plans going forward. Um, but we use a comprehensive retirement planning system. Any firm that you work with, certainly you want to be able to have that. Um, and then that's going to allow us to then look at, number one, are we successful? And number two, what's the best way to start taking cash flow from our plan? Uh, tax consequences. Um, I mean, you have to think about this. You have, depending upon your situation, you might have some pre-tax monies. You might have some Roth monies. You might have some non-retirement accounts. You got this NUA stuff we're going to talk about in a second. It's like, how do you figure all this out? Um, this is where we come in, right? This is this is how we can help to put a plan in place and say, hey, we'll defer your retirement monies for as long as possible. Maybe we'll drive down your tax rate early on by living off of NUA monies or your non-retirement accounts. Um, keeping our tax rates low, letting our tax deferred monies grow. There's a lot of power in doing that. Um, maybe there's some other opportunities while that happens. Things like Roth conversions, right? And how does that impact your plan? Not only from a tax perspective, but from an estate perspective. So it really becomes really critical about not just knowing that you have enough money to retire, right? But it's how do we actually implement the cash flow strategy and doing so, putting our best foot forward. This is what one of the things we do for. Optimal dates of retirement. 
Uh, is it six months from now? Is it three years from now? Right? We'll cut it to you straight what we think is best based off of you know the finances, but certainly there's that qualitative conversation that we need to have as well. Um, lastly, make sure you have all of your um, your web links, uh, your, your payroll benefit sites, uh, make sure you have all of that and then you can log in externally so that once you become a retiree, you still have access to all your information. Uh, oh, inform your supervisor in writing. That's important. Just more formalized uh, in writing that you're going to be effectively retiring at X date. Um, cash flow plan. Kind of mentioned a little bit here, but I'll just kind of highlight this because again, extremely important about how this is all being put together. For, for those of us that still have the pension, right, uh, for, for Lockheed, it's, it's figuring out, like, how does this fit in with my 401k, um, Social Security, other assets that we have, right? A lot of different taxations on these monies um, and some different levers that we can pull. Do we take Social Security at 62? Like, you could take it at 62. You could take it at 66, 67. That's usually full retirement. Or do we delay it till 70? How does that impact what we're doing? We'll, we'll tell that to you. Like we'll, we'll give you the numbers and tell you what we think is our best idea. Uh, but it's really just sort of getting a checklist of all of your assets and what's the taxation of it, of it all. Um, and then obviously we talked about the tax consequences of each income source. Pre-tax monies are typically taxed at ordinary income. Um, Social Security is taxed at ordinary income up to a certain percentage of your income. For most people, it's 85% of your Social Security is going to be taxed at ordinary income. Um, and as we'll talk about in the next few minutes with NUA, net unrealized depreciation, your tax when you declare it, we'll talk about what that means, but when you start selling those shares, specifically the Lockheed Martin shares, um, you only pay capital gains, right? And so capital gains, we'll talk about in a few minutes, might have a little bit more benefits from a tax perspective. It might pay lower, it might pay lower in taxes. Um, earlier on, which can give us a lot of benefits of other things that we can do, like we talked about things like Roth conversions, those types of things. Um, good. All right, let's keep moving forward here and we'll talk about actually, you know, the 401k distributions from Voya. Uh, sorry, Voya. It used to be Voya. Now it's Empower. Excuse me. Old habits, right? Um, we'll talk about calling Empower, what to be thinking about, uh, about the processing of that, but we'll talk about more, more of the benefits of why you may consider rolling over the 401k. Um, <laughs> access to your money. I, I, I hear this all the time. Um, when your money's in your company's plan, like you've seen it, Voya to Empower, we, we know that they can make those changes. Well, if I'm retired, I probably want a little bit more control over where I log in, like which, which accounts I'm logging into. Um, professional management, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's the financial engines that you can sign up for, but you know, there, there's that box, right? Of the box of the investments that they can choose from. Um, moving over to like an IRA, whether it's with like a Bogart Wealth or an, an IRA, uh, independent advisory firm or like a larger scale institution, um, you can usually have more ad investment choices, right? Um, uh, so for instance, Bogart Wealth. We custody at Charles Schwab. Uh, we really like their platform, the expansiveness of options. Uh, but as a, as a discount broker dealer, I mean, we, we have access to a lot of investments, right? And so that allows us as money managers or even clients that, you know, you know use Schwab on, them, on their own platform is to, you know, not just be confounded by the box of like, you know, uh, the, the 18 different investments that, that, that you have access to. Um, and then, yeah, fixed income choices. If you look at the screen here, yeah, we have our stable value fund. Yeah, we have our bond index fund. Um, but that's it, especially in this like challenging rates environments. We're at these, you know, where we are currently right now, we're talking 2023. Um, yields have spiked. How do we think about managing the fixed income portions of our portfolio more effectively? You typically may want more choices as the markets evolve, as we start seeing what has really been a rapid shift in interest rates uh, over the last several years, both up and down. Uh, rollover 401k, you can utilize NUA. You can utilize that uh, as, as an advantage. Uh, one thing that's not on this slide that I will, I will speak from experience, if you've done a good, if you've been maxing out, which I know a lot of you ha probably have been, with the Lockheed Martin savings plan, and then you get into that after-tax money, if you haven't done those 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 backdoor conversions within the plan, you have this after-tax money that's growing. And what happens? 
the earnings are growing before taxes. If you call Empower and say, hey, I'm going to do a rollover again, wherever that money goes, they're going to cut a separate check for that after tax money, the basis, what you put in there. That money can go to a Roth. Now, if you don't know about a Roth uh, IRA or if you haven't utilized the Roth 401k, you've already paid taxes on that money. And because it's in that Roth designation, the growth on that money is tax free. I would much rather have, again, for the majority of clients, um, after tax money growing tax free as opposed to growing tax deferred. Uh, meaning when I do take that earnings out, I'll have to pay taxes on that. Reduce stress. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's very difficult. And I can speak from experience, you know, in working with clients through 2008, working through clients and, 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 um, uh, many different events, but let's talk about the big ones in 2020. And even, you know, last year, very challenging year. If you're doing it alone, if you're managing it uh, by yourself, which I know, you know, some people feel comfortable doing, now it's a different ball game. Different ball game because not only are we just in accumulation mode, but we need to manage our assets effectively to get longer term growth. But now we're talking about distributions, right? And that's, I think that that's where it becomes really stressful for especially early retirees to make those effective decisions because this is not something that you've been you know, born to do or bred to do. You've been a good saver, but now it comes time to making sure that I have to get this right. Usually leading on a professional may help impact uh, that anxiety and truly to allow you to do other things. We talked about a few minutes ago, what, what's your definition of retirement? Is it spending time with you know, family? Is it traveling? Um, you know, I have one client that just got back from Africa for two months. I don't think she looked at her accounts, but we, you know, obviously within her accounts, we've been pretty active making different trades to it too. So allows you to do other things while we can do kind of do the heavy lifting for you. All right. Net unrealized depreciation. This is a really big topic. Um, I want to spend a couple minutes here and talking about how this works, the benefits, drawbacks, and how do you actually execute doing this through Empower. So net unrealized depreciation is when you have your company stock, Lockheed Martin, the Lockheed Martin stock fund to be specific. You have been, uh, you know, been putting in uh, assets, whether, you know, uh, you know, from the company specifically, been buying shares of the company stock into the stock fund. Now you have the difference between what's been put in is the basis, the actual money that's been put in versus the actual market value of the um of, 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 of the stock fund. So there's a difference between what you, what was paid versus the value. With net unrealized appreciation, when you do the rollover for manpower, the company stock fund can leave the pre-tax sourcing of funds, not go to an IRA, but go to what you see as a joint account, brokerage account, individual account, whatever it is. This is a non-retirement account. So now it leaves that classification. So now I have my company stock fund out of my 401k. Everything else gets rolled to an IRA. All your other pre-tax stuff, like your your, your equity indexed units, um, extended market index, bond index, stable value fund, that all can, when you do the rollover, that goes to the IRA. But this this, this company stock fund goes to a non-retirement account you are taxed on the basis, meaning what was put into the stock fund. So think about this. You're only taxed on the basis. Now, I know some of you here, or if you're watching this later on, maybe we bought some shares in 2000, 2002. Remember those times if you've been around? $20 a share, $30 a share. Now we know what, what, what Lockheed Martin stock is, is, is trading at now. There's a big difference there. So if I can pay only ordinary, ordinary income taxes on my, my shares, um, and now my market value is much higher, I might have a little bit more flexibility because now that my stock is in this non-retirement account, I paid the basis, I paid the ordinary income on the basis, but now I have a difference between the basis now that's in my account versus the market value. Again, big difference specifically with Lockheed Martin, as you know, and there is some diff- you know, some subtle differences, major differences between what you would sell something for if it stays in the 401k at ordinary income versus if you sold it the NUA shares, 
the difference between the basis and market value, that's your capital gains. Tax at a much different rate. Um, so let's go through some of you know some of the you know ins and outs of that and how it works. Um, you move assets from your 401k plan to the non-qualified account. That's that brokerage account I just mentioned. Only applies to the company stock. You can't do it with any of the other investments, stable value, the equity index. You can't do it. It's only your Lockheed Martin company stock. Um, it only includes the stock that you received as your match. Um, and you cannot cherry pick um, cost basis. It, it's aggregated as an average cost. Uh, but nonetheless, when you did like the 20 or $30 per share in around the 2000s, you, you know, drove that basis down pretty low. A couple big things here. You may know this already with net unrealized appreciation. You have to do it as a lump sum distribution. You can't do it as a partial, which I don't even think the plan allows for a partial distribution after you do separate from service. Um, but if you do NUA, everything has to leave the 401k through Empower by year's end. Just has to. Um, distribution event is you have to be over 55 and retired at least 59 and a half or disabled. Um, you remove everything from the 401k. Yep, nothing must be left at the end of the year. Benefits, you avoid required distributions on those funds. So if we talk about the difference between you know, the, the, the basis and market value, that market value, if you left it in there, hey, that's great. You've had some gains, but that's also now going to be part of those required minimum distributions. And if you don't know, come 73, 75, the IRS is going to say, hey, you got to start taking some money out. A lot of you know clients that I work with are saying, well, that's way more than I actually need. And I'm going to be paying a lot more in taxes then. This is where it becomes really important from a tax planning perspective to be thinking about, do I do NUA, drive my tax rate down earlier? And then now that I'm in a lower tax rate earlier in retirement, got these future big tax bills coming down my way in the next say, 5, 10, 15 years. How can Bogart Wealth help me with that? That's where we talk about those things like Roth conversions, if it makes sense. And then you pay long-term cap gains rates when you sell the NUA stock. Um, you do the rollover, money's in. Uh, what happens is actually, just so we talk about the process, uh, we call Empower, you get your separation kit, uh, you have your in-kind distribution form to actually submit this. I will tell you that's not the only thing that you have to do. Empower also is requiring you to submit a letter of instruction uh, to them to do the NUA. Uh, if you have any questions on how that should be written or what you need to do, feel free to call me or email me at bwindsor at bogartwealth.com. Uh, and I can kind of walk you through that process on what you need to do to you know, implement the NUA. But when you do sell the stock, whether it's you sell it shortly after, so when you do the NUA, it goes to computer share. Uh, that's the transfer agent of, of Lockheed Martin stock um, and transfer to a brokerage account after that, like a Schwab, you know, other brokerage firms if you, if you desire. But when you sell it, you don't have to wait the one year uh, to get long-term capital gains. Um, everything would be taxable at long-term gains thereafter. Um, not the difference between after when you do the NUA and the, and, and the appreciation, but if let's just say I did NUA and I sold everything the next day, everything's taxable at long-term capital gains rates. One-shot deal. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Once you, once you leave lump sum distribution, um, this is where it becomes important, right? If you got a one-shot deal, you got to get it right the first time. You got to meet with, you know, do your due diligence, do your deeper financial planning to determine, does this make sense for my financial plan? Do I need to execute on this? And if so, great, we have to get it done. Um, you can only do it once. Uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. If, if, if you left it in there, if it, like your Lockheed Martin stock in, in, in the company stock fund in the 401k, if you decide that, hey, I'm retired, I'm going to withdraw it, or I don't do it, I roll everything over to an IRA, don't take it to advantage of NUA, everything is taxable at ordinary income thereafter. But if you see here, you have tax at ordinary income, that's your basis, that's tax at ordinary income, but that might be a lot lower, right? $20, $30 a share, we might have a low, low, a low cost basis. And then, you know, with Lockheed Martin trading at what it is today, um, that's only taxed at long-term capital gains rates. Um, so in this instance, if I have 500,000 in my, my, my 401k, um, of all the, 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 the company stock fund, but 50 grand is the basis, meaning that's been put in there. I have 450,000 of what I could do with NUA, which if you look here at capital gains rates, 15%, maybe 18.8 you know, .8 with Medicare surtax or 23.8 is the highest bracket you can use for getting, getting tax at capital gain rates. Ordinary income tax rates go up to 37%. That's only going higher in the next several years when the tax cuts sunset in 2025 starting in 2026. So these rates are even gonna increase even further. 
it can make sense, uh, depending on your plan, to take action on something like net unrealized depreciation for the Lockheed Martin stock. Um, by saving money in the short term and driving your tax rate down, it expands the breadth of other things that you can do with your financial plan. Um, all the things that you need to take into consideration um, when doing the rollover, or considering doing it, review the cash flow plan, review the NUA plan. By the way, at Bogart Wealth, with net unrealized appreciation, when we execute on things like that, we're going to help determine not only what is that, that, that ordinary income, what's the taxable amount, also in working with our tax team. Do we need to think about making an estimated tax payment? We'll show you. We'll show you what that looks like um, and saying, okay, this is exactly what it's going to be. And then if we do sell any of the company stock, how much do we need to make an estimated tax payments for selling those things at gains? Again, that's where our tax team will come in and say, hey, based off of your estimated income for this year, we think it's X and here's why. Um, so we'll cover you in all basis, not only from a tax perspective, not from a cash flow perspective, but also from that, that tax perspective to making sure that we don't get any trouble with the IRS because certainly none of us want to do that. Um, re review the estate plan issues, right? We talked a little bit about earlier about who are those people that are important to you, right? Uh, making sure that when we do the rollover, uh, which by the way, if you are married, you'll need spousal consent and that needs to be notarized. Um, but once that money's rolled over and you set up these newer accounts, how does this fit into your estate plan? Um, who are those people that you want to gift monies to, right? If I'm charitably inclined, I might want to give more of my pre-tax monies because these charities, when they get it, they don't have to pay taxes. And then in a perfect world with my non-retirement monies, I might gift that otherwise to other individuals. Keep in mind, just one quick caveat, the net unrealized appreciation does not get a step up in cost basis at the end of your death. Um, that's just a quirk of the IRS tax rules. We'll get into that if we do more of a detailed conversation. And then lastly, like review the investment plan, right? And how do we then think about all of these different facets? How does these monies need to be invested to execute on our cash flow plan? That's another point of Bogart Wealth is, you know, being money managers as well as thinking about how do we fit all of this into consideration? So that's it. I mean, separation from service, no, no later than 180 days out. If you're thinking about retirement in the next six months, whether it's myself, another member, uh, a member of the team here at Bogart Wealth, or another advisory firm, you need to have to start having that conversation to start going through all of these levels of details. And then hopefully whoever you're working with, hopefully it's Bogart Wealth, uh, can help you put plan in place for all of this and show you the best way forward through the different tools that we have. A lot of things thrown your way. Um, there's a lot of things being thrown away at uh, up, up, upcoming retirees, and it's it's daunting. Um, you know, I look at market forces specifically in the last few years. Um, that has caused a lot of anxiety for clients, right? But you need to have an all weather plan. This is what we do here at Bogart Wealth: take into consideration taxes, risk management, your estate plan, uh, your investments, um, new laws that could come through, right? How does that impact you? Your financial plan needs to be in place and your financial plan also needs to be able to evolve as you know, things change that are out of your control, but things that change, you know, like my client, son's getting married, uh, wedding to plan for now, right? So these are things that, that come up um, and this is why we're here. Um, I highly recommend, maybe I'm speaking from experience, but um, if you are working with somebody to select an advisor, a certified financial planner is, is the gold standard. Um, having someone that knows your retirement plan, that's done this before, has had conversations with Empower before, I think is important, um, knows the rules of the IRS, has been in the industry for many years, and, and, and can also then execute and manage those, those portfolios. Um, uh, open to various strategies, financial planning, uh, and then provides regular portfolio uh, reporting. These are all the things that we do as money managers. Uh, in working with us, again, I mentioned we meet with our clients at minimum four times a year. Uh, as we're onboarding clients, it's a lot more. And I know some of my clients that are on this meeting now, uh, for quick refreshers, we we know that we, uh, as we're getting the plan started, there's there's a lot more meetings up front. Speaks in a way you can understand, jargon free, right? Not using all these different acronyms and, and high level words, but let's just break it down. Like, Brian, what should I be doing? Tell me how to do it. Um, so that I can understand and I can explain to my spouse what we're doing. Or, hey, bring the spouse in. We think that that's important as well. Um, 
But um, I and don't just look at one advisor. Um, I always tell clients like look at multiple advisors, see what their unique value proposition is. What can they do that might be different from somebody else, and how do they differentiate themselves as advisors? Ask them those questions. Um, they should hopefully be able to answer that with uh, with a degree of conviction and confidence. Um, that's what we're here to do. So if you need to know all the facets of the Lockheed Martin plan and all the facets that come with this unique plan and how it filters into your one retirement, come talk to us. We're happy to do a complimentary strategy session and a complimentary financial plan. So that financial plan is going to give it a very big cues of, are we on track to pay the bills? And what are some of the things that I should be monitoring from a cash flow tax and a state perspective to navigate this increasing evolving market? And that's what we're here to do. Um, so I would, I would uh, encourage all of you that are here today that if we haven't done this before, don't hesitate. Let us know how we can help. If it's just a quick chat or a deeper conversation, we are happy to do that uh, for, for our clients that provide that quality education so they can make effective decisions. Um, you can contact us at bogartwealth.com. If you look at the top right-hand screen there, uh, click client, um, uh, contact us, I should say. Uh, you can contact us by calling us or just shooting us a quick email and we'd be happy to, to get to know you a little bit. What's your situation? Who are those individuals around you that, um, that you care about, that you support? And, um, you know, what are your concerns? How can we help you with that? Um, I want to appreciate, I really appreciate you know, your time today, uh, especially during the holiday season, to, to, to learn more about Bogart Wealth, learn more about the Lockheed Martin plan um, and how it fits into all of this, you know, many, many decisions that you have. Um, I, I appreciate you taking the time to, to sit here today and listen. Um, so if I, I, I actually don't know if I had many questions come through, ones that did, I think we answered them all um, about NUA, taxation, cap gains, so that looks good. Um, Thank you so much for your, for your time today and uh, wish you and your family a happy holiday season. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.